Yeah, that's right. We've got curry on the menu, a Sri Lankan style curry. We're using monkfish for the protein. It's going to be really fast, full of flavor. We've got this Sri Lankan um, style here. Lots of uh, fragrant spices in here and some curry leaves and finished with some tomato and coconut cream. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Let me show you how to make it a little bit later on in the show. Great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen. And Martin, we're making a Sri Lankan style curry. Yep, that's right. And it's got uh, monkfish in it. Okay. So fish curry. Yeah, so what's the difference? Because there's a lot of curry. What makes well, it we've got Sri the coconut. So, depending on different parts of like India and uh, around the world, you've got yogurts in there in the mm -hmm. curries. You know, different spices. So it's quite fresh, aromatic, and coconut in there. Okay. So it's beautiful. And then, so we're using monkfish today. So we've got these beautiful monkfish fillets. Well, that looks good. So first of all, what we need to do is marinate it. Okay. So cool. if you've got about an hour, marinate this for about an hour. Just get extra flavour in yes. there. Yes. But we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it today. Okay. Cool. Because we will get some flavour in that. So right. I've got a couple of limes. Yes. So if you zest them and juice them zest into the bowl. Zest and juice into the bowl. Yeah, that'd be great. And then I'm just gonna cook this uh, monkfish just into nice sort of big chunks. Manageable chunks. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're not gonna make them any smaller, are we? Or when we, it's just going to be nice, chunky in yeah, the yeah, curry. So, so you're looking for, uh, I mean, depending on how big you, you actually fillets of your fish are, you know, just sort of, you know, I mean, it's all about, we're going to have this beautiful sauce, heaps mm. of flavour in there. So I like we, that word aromatic you, you said before. It's, yeah, it's very aromatic. Okay. And then the juice as well. And then I'm just going to, so, so sort of chunks about that, but it's really good. Could you use any other sort of fish? Why are you using monkfish? Yeah, I mean, it's cheap. Yep. It's nice That's and good. cheap. We like that. You know, it's a good time of the year to get monkfish. Oh, uh, nice. It's quite uh, available. And uh, it's nice and meaty as well. You know, we're going to cook it. It's going to cook in the, um, in the curry. So we want a nice meaty fish to do this. Hopper could be really nice. Cool. Um, oh, you know, yeah. if you start That's using a snapper yeah. and stuff, it's just going to break down. It's so a nice so thick white fish. Yeah, yeah thick, thick yep. white fish and, um, you know, really meaty and, uh, and sort of taut because you've got all those strong flavours of the um, curry. Okay, cool. Now you want to juice these limes as well. Yeah, so okay, juice them cool. in there and then that's going to be the base of the marinade. So fish okay. goes in. Okay, cool. Nice bit of salt, season. Oh, yeah, and this... This lime juice helps even cook the fish slightly, doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit, and it's going to help get the flavour in there. And we've got some turmeric as well, which is going to pop on. Give that a really good stir. Cover it, put it in the fridge for about an hour if you've got the time. You know, and then you'll have this beautiful flavour starting to get into that fish now. Right, so that's it. Nice. So yep. marinate it an hour before you want to use it. And with the magic of television, we would have sped this process up for you. <laughs> and we'll get on to making the rest of the curry. Yum. Right, and then we've got, so we've got some brown rice as well, which we're going to serve with it. Yep. So you can just cook it normally, just with some water if you want, or you can put some coconut cream in there as well. It's really nice. Sort of do uh, one part coconut cream to a couple of parts water, you know, so you just get the nice creaminess as well. Okay, cool. Do you need me to do anything here? Right, we're going to start the sauce now. Okay. Right, so so good bag glug of olive oil into so I, there. I'll put this over here. We're we done with that? In the but meantime. For now, yeah. Okay, cool. Good glug of oil. I know yeah. you're glugs. Okay, yeah. there you oh, go. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah, yeah you're Is doing good well. Glug? Yeah, and, and we're gonna start frying all the uh, the aromats now. Okay. So I've got some onions, so you can yep. get some onions in there. I've got some garlic and ginger, so all finely diced. Mm -hmm. And then I've got some green chilies as well. Okay. So get it in there nice and hot. Keep stirring it. Yep. Because it is nice and hot. It is get hot. everything in. And we've got some curry leaves as well. Yeah. We're just going to put in. Right, a little bit more oil in there. Okay. Get some oil in there. It's going to help us get all the uh, flavour on Flavors that. Flavours out. Yeah. And, and then you want to sort of just put garlic, yeah, in, there. garlic yep. in there as well. So this is where you're going to get all the flavour from the base of the sauce, right? So you want to keep cooking this out. Yep. So we're going to turn it down onto sort of more of a medium heat. Keep that heat in there. Make sure it doesn't go too dry, because if it goes dry, you're going to get uneven colouring. Okay. Yeah, so don't be scared to put a little bit more oil in. So you can put even a little bit more in if you want. And it's just going to bring all those flavours. Keep stirring it. And you want to cook this for about sort of, oh, about eight to ten minutes, you know. Keep an eye on it. Don't burn it, but just bring out all those aromats. Okay, well, trust me to do that. I will look after it for the next eight minutes. I'll tell you what, it's smelling incredible, though. And it smells incredible. So, so you can see now, you, you know, you're frying it over a high heat, you're getting all these flavours, you know, what Mike's talking about now. And this is what you want to do. Now we're going to start adding some spices in there. So okay. we've got some cumin. Uh, uh, cardamom. 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 Not cumin, we've got cumin go. here. Right, we're just going to crush those up. So you're just bashing the shells just to release all those flavours. I'm going to pop that in. Okay. Okay, we want to pick these out after. Well, you don't need to, but you don't want to bite on those later, so it's a good idea to pick those out. Uh, we've got a little bit more turmeric going in there now. 
Jeez, that cardamom's so, aromatic, isn't it? I can oh, smell yeah, it so straight you get, away. You get those yeah. flavours. Um, and what was the last thing you just put uh, in? That was uh, black mustard. Black and mustard. And then you got some fennel greek. So smell that. Mm, yum. Beautiful. Yum. That going in there and some cumin seeds as well. Okay. And we want to sort of toast these in the pan with all those uh, onions and garlic and um, uh, ginger for about a minute or so. So just okay. keep it, keep put the heat on, keep the um, spices uh, toasting now, bring yep. out the flavours of the spices. Nice, it's smelling incredible. It. A little bit yeah. more oil if you want, you know. Okay. So just keep an eye on it. You know, if it's getting if it's getting a little bit dry, just keep adding touches, touches, touches. Don't want doesn't want to be covered and cooking in oil. Um, you don't want to dry it out either. No, do you? no, you don't no, want to dry no. it out. So you do need that oil to get that even colour in and bring out that flavour. And you know, take your time and do this stage properly. You know, do it in stages, and you will get a massive flavour from your curry at the end of it. I can smell it; it's cooking away beautifully here. Right, so we got some uh, we got some fresh tomatoes now. Okay. That's, yep. So we're going to pop those in. Keep stirring. Yeah, keep yep. stirring it. And you know, as these tomatoes sort of warm up now, they're going to break down. They're going to uh, soften, and it's going to give us that nice sort of fresh acidity into the mm. curry. Okay. And then we've got some coconut cream. So I'll let them cook down a little bit more. Ideally, you want to give this about another sort of five, five to eight minutes. Right. Cook it over medium heat and then get those really sort of um, tomatoes sort of crushed down and nice concentrated flavour. And then you can put your coconut cream in there. Right. Bring it to the boil, <laughs> simmer it again. Make sure you taste and you're happy with all those flavours. Sort of reduce it down slightly. And once you're happy, then we're going to cook the fish because the fish is not going to take that long to cook. Okay. And then nice. we've also... Going to get a little bit of tamarind Ooh. as well. Tamarind? Yeah. What is that? Open. It's, um... Is it a plant? Yeah, I think it's like a root. Okay. okay. question that yeah. one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, there you go. Competition. <laughs> yeah. Tamarind. Mm. Well, it tastes like it's really sort of, um, sharp. Put a little bit more salt, touch of pepper. So and then you just want to cook that, simmer that for about 10 minutes, get all those flavours together. Then we'll have a look at it. If it gets a little bit dry, pop another splash of uh, coconut cream in or a splash of water, and then we're just going to uh, put pop the fish in and just simmer it. Oh, that is beautiful. Mm. Already. Wow. I am very impressed. The first time I've ever made a curry. Uh, so learn them from the master. You can get the recipe at the cafe.co.nz. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Why is it so that we just put the monkfish in so it's just been simmering away with all that beautiful curry sauce and all those flavours for about sort of five to eight minutes just until the monkfish is cooked and then we can serve it. We've got our brown rice on there. Just finished it with some chives but you could put some coriander in if you wanted. Jesse's not around. <laughs> and then just get it in there. Make sure you've got lots of that beautiful sauce on there as well. And just remember, if you do see those cardamom pods, take them out. And there you go. I'm very Shrunken impressed with that. It looks good. It smells glory. good. What's it going to taste oh, like? We're going to find out. Incredible. Nice.